What's up, my fan? I found Mr. Video Game Fanatic here, aka Mr. Spider Man, because I'm a huge fan. You guys already know that. Let's get into the top. Let's get into the mechanics behind the three uh, uh, adversaries in this new Tom Holland Spider Man Homecoming movie. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry guys, I'm a little weird sometimes, but this movie is so fucking cool looking. So let's get into it. Start with Vulture. Vulture, you all know Adrian Toomes. He is a low life criminal. Uh, once a great scientist, he made this wings himself and the helmet and the suit. The original suit itself with the regular like flappy wings looks shitty, so they upgraded to mechanical wings, uh, which looks a whole lot better if you ask me. Now let's get into the uh, well, how I believe that the wings in the new Tom Holland Spider-Man movie works. And so, whatever. The way I believe that the wings work are is actually uh, aerodynamic uh, brain waves. If you guys don't know what I mean, I mean that the suit, the helmet, and the wings are connected somehow. Like the wings are connected to the helmet by uh, electrical brain waves, aka the wings have an antenna hooked up to the back of a uh, Adrian head, kind of like Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, where he thinks like, alright, I want to go faster, so, I want to go faster, it goes faster, I want to go slower, I gotta land, it slows down to stop, uh, and I believe that there's also turbo jets in the wings itself, since it is, it is kind of like a backpack, like a pack, like a jet pack, and they could open and it shoots fire, so he could go, like, hyperdrive. That's pretty much how, how what I think it is. And the helmet itself, if that's not how it works, uh, if it is connected to the helmet. But I believe that the green eyes, I could be totally wrong about all this anyway, guys. So you could quote me if I want, but this is what I believe. The eyes itself, I'm guessing if it's not just for effect, I'm guessing that the eyes themselves are like uh, night vision and a... Uh, <coughs> our night vision and smoke vision... Uh, detectors like they could see through the dark night vision goggles pretty much and somehow they could see through smoke like you know the police throw a smoke bomb or something i also believe uh that they if they don't add it uh i'm you know i'm not gonna be mad but i i believe they should uh now if you guys have seen the ultimate spider-man com uh, co uh cartoon you guys know that the vulture in that show had has a super sonic uh, mouth pretty much he opens his mouth and he can send ear tingling ear bleeding uh, transaction I don't know what the word is now like he could scream and it shatters your ears I'm not I, I can't quite think of what the word is but that's what I believe it is they should add that to the suit if they haven't already, like, add a mouth. And every time, like, Vulture's thinking, like, all right, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go on the offensive here and screech. Ah. Just imagine hearing that in your ears and it starts, your ears start ringing. All right, so let's go on to elect, uh, Electro. God damn it. Shocker. So we all know that Shocker is, uh, Oh, God damn it! I always forget his name. I don't know why. But Shocker, he has these, uh... I'm trying to think of the amazing... Sp Herman Schultz. Herman Schultz, he has these, uh, gauntlets that are, I'm guessing, from the looks of them, they are, like, electric magnetic pulsed, or, um... Sorry, guys, I tried doing this video a little bit. These gauntlets are so cool-looking... Uh, but let's get to the technology behind them and how they all work, I'm guessing. The way that they work, from my understanding and the way I'm thinking, is that they are, uh, besides squeezer controlled, I am guessing that they have different settings uh, and they are tasered like, where you can set it to different settings like high, low, medium. So he could, like, pretty much break a whole building or just shatter somebody's ears but I believe that they could also be put on like defensive and offensive you can show maybe shoot like an electric uh, shock wave make an earthquake trap Spidey in it either that or maybe send out an electrical EMP uh, electric magnetic pulse 
and maybe shut down all Spidey's tech. But if Spidey gets behind Vulture, he could Vulture uh, Shocker could accidentally shut down Vulture's tech as well, or just Vulture's tech if Spidey jumps out of the way when the uh, EMP uh, blasting range gets to Peter. That's not what I believe that the uh, the gauntlets can do. The way that they work. I am also guessing, well, besides, again, squeezer controlled, I am guessing that they are somehow, like, a battery operated, and then there may be, like, little tasers here with a forcer. So, like, he squeezes the trigger, electric line comes here, and maybe something's here, and it somehow pushes the uh, electric EMP pulse or something like that out, kind of like Spider-Man's web shooters. Um, and the mask itself, like, everything else doesn't do anything, but this is what I believe that the, uh, visors should do, the glasses he wears in the suit if he does in the movie. I believe that it's, if, uh, a uh, Shocker wears, like, glasses or something to hide his eyes, I believe that they should actually be angle tra trajectory, uh, pulse shooters. Um, so, like, he can shoot a uh, shock wave and or maybe an electric bolt like he has like taser in the glove he squeezes the trigger but he could actually aim with the uh the glasses telling telling him like all right so if i hit this bus here at this trajectory trajectory hit another bus at this trajectory it could hit spider-man in the back or in the legs knock him down so i could get the upper advantage that's what I believe that the glasses should do. And it would be actually really cool to see, like, to hear what uh, they, like, to hear what they were actually thinking why they wanted Shocker in this movie. It's really cool to have him. I just want to know why. Because Shocker and Vulture, they're not that high-class villains. Throw in Carnage or somebody who's a little harder to beat people. <laughs> That's just my opinions. There's your there's your Spider Man two movie idea. Think about it, please. <laughs> now let's get to the big daddy himself, Spider Man. All right, so Spider Man. Let's get it off with the suit first. All right, so Spider Man suit is nothing really but techno, but just like a zipper, right? Wrong. If you guys seen the trailer, you guys already know what I'm talking about. The trailer itself looks so cool, but the suit itself it looks amazing. It's pretty much kind of like Marty McFly's McFly's. Uh, shoes from Back to the Future where he just pe presses that lace button and they fit around the shoe. That's it. That is exactly how I believe that Spider-Man suit works. Um, so it's kind of like it could be pin particle uh, just to fit him his Peter size or that's just the way Tony made it with maybe some mechanical shrinks in the suit as well or like some f sort of fabric that can stretch and shrink. Mr. Fantastic might have helped. That would have been cool to see. But let's get to those awesome web wings. Now, the web wings themselves, in the original comics, they were just thread thrown onto the suit to make it look cool. I am guessing that the way that the uh, the wings work in the movie, they are metal-based uh, flight helpers. Like, you have metal here for the actual lines, and in the lines are, like, little whole air filters, like, Air goes into the wings and it hoists you. How cool would that be if that's actually how it worked? And maybe, and I highly doubt this is it, but maybe the boots um, themselves could like open up and have like little fucking rockets. I'm just making that up. But how cool, it, uh, that's what I believe that the wings can do. Let's get on to the mask's lenses because the mask is just the mask. So the mask lenses, are, uh, they move and stuff. So I'm guessing there's emotion and uh, strategy. The reason I'm going really fast because I don't have that much time. So the way that I'm guessing that it all works is that it, he's planning out trajectory, where I need to be, where I need to go. Spire Sense helps at, uh, at um, also, but it also, like, it can strategize, like, all right, so I go out to this guy, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy, um... That's what I believe the lenses can do. That is pretty much everything. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button. You want your friends and family to see the video, hit the subscribe button. Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff up in the channel or above. Hope you guys have a great fanatic day. Mr. Fanatic is out of here. Also, guys.
subscribe so we could get 70 subscribers because it would be really amazing to do the uh, chili challenge um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the new Spider-Man movie as much as I will Mr. Fanatic is out of here